Hey y'all, and welcome to Top 5. How's everybody doing today? How you guys doing? I'm yep, doing good. good. You're doing good. I'm Frank, and with us we have... Tagura. And, Squeaks. And Squeaks. Alright, today's topic is Top 5 Third Person Shooters. I'm excited for this one because I've been playing a lot of them. So, uh... World of Warcraft doesn't count. Well, I understand. <laughs> I'm no, kidding, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> Blizzard segue. Division, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we are, we're going to BlizzCon. We're pretty excited about that. We want to make sure everybody knows. Uh, going to BlizzCon. We're going to do a couple live episodes from BlizzCon talking about the announcements, possibly getting some interviews with whatever developers we could like pull aside and bribe with uh, free food and drinks or whatever we can do, and uh, and get some conversations with them. Me and Daniel have our tickets. Squeaks is going to be buying a ticket at the door if he's lucky. Yes. Going to be out there sweet talking the ladies, trying to get a free ticket into the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're really excited for BlizzCon. It's it's their first time going and my second time, and it's just amazing there. And uh, so we're working on that. But uh, third person shooters, just want to kind of qualify that for people who don't understand what a third person shooter is. Generally, it's when the camera's behind the person and you don't just see your hands and the gun. So it's when you're seeing their back or over their shoulder, stuff like that. So, um, any nerd news you want to get out there real quick? Any hot topics? What's up? You guys see the Dark Phoenix trailer? Oh, I did. I did. I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about X-Men movies anymore right now. I'm like done with them. I, I'm over it, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that and I'm like, okay, cool. So Marvel bought this, right? So we can kind of get over this. Yeah. And this is the last one of these. So did, we can be done with them. Oh, yeah, it would be, huh? This is the last actual oh, Fox Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. If you listen to the song, it's like, uh, this is the end. This is the end, my friend, or whatever. It's like that song. Mm, so and it's kind of like, that. Yeah, yeah, it okay. is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, maybe Dark Phoenix wins. You never know. Phoenix yeah, might just yeah. oh, burn it all up. Um, if you've been paying attention to Instagram, uh, did you see uh, Tom Hanks being uh, Mr. Rogers? It's on yeah. our Twitter as well. Oh, there yeah. you go. There you go. That's got got cool. a couple of retweets from some fellow podcasts. He's, he's going to play another, uh, I guess, documentary role, huh? Because he, he played play Walt anything. Disney. Yeah. yeah. He was good. He was good. I like to see him do an actual Walt Disney movie just called Walt or whatever. Yeah, just about the life yeah. of Walt Disney. Yeah. yeah. Anything else hot? Season 6 of Fortnite starting up? Uh... Daredevil 3. Oh, Daredevil yeah. 3. Oh, season 3? Yeah. I think so, that's the only one I'm going to probably keep uh, my eyes on. I yeah, think Iron Fist was horrible. Season 2. I oh, I was I just hate, about to start it. I hated it. Oh, damn I, it. I hated it. But didn't they step up the fighting? Oh, they did. There was a lot more fighting. Less like, oh, me being a uh, Shaolin, whatever, dragon, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I forget it. But anyways, Iron Fist. And it's less that. It's more, a lot more action. A lot more like gang stuff, um, but it just towards the end it was just horrible. I hated it, Dang. but I mean, you guys might enjoy yeah, yeah. it. I just really hated it. Yeah, I haven't watched um the one where they're all together. What is it? Defenders. Defenders. I haven't yeah, watched yeah. That, oh, that was good. Was that it? was really good. I, think I, I actually watched that one. Really liked it. I'm only like one episode in on that. I need to catch up yeah. on all of my Netflixing. I like the Luke Cage and the Daredevils. I still need to finish Punisher. Yeah, yeah some did you see series. season two of Luke Cage? I ha- um, I thought I did. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Luke Cage is awesome. It's all like a long thing to me now. One I'm waiting for, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much Daredevil and uh, Punisher. I'm waiting for another Punisher. Yeah, Punisher I need to finish that one. All right, here's a quick question for you guys. So we got Punisher in, right? What other street level Marvel character would you like to see come to Netflix? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a pretty good question. Yeah, that is actually. Dang. I don't think we don't even know any. Ghost Rider. I want to see Ghost Rider. Oh, movie. yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. I want to see it done right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think Nick Cage did pretty good. You think so? Oh, yeah. I didn't like the second one, but I think... I didn't mind it. I like the second the one, who said he just held on it? I like the first one. That was a good one. I know his entire library. He just held it. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was in the second... It was in the second one? Yeah. Oh, dang. That was so long ago, you don't pay attention <laughs> to him as you do now. And you saw it once, and you're like, well, yeah. he just was good, but... Whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I just I just felt like uh, I'd like to see a more of a street level thing where he's actually fighting crime on the street and less about they try to make it grand, you know, like real big. What um, about like a... It was before like Marvel's heyday, so it's hard yeah. for them to really judge him on that. Uh, what about like a, a Moon Knight? I'm trying to think of something they were, way off. They're right? actually in production on Moon Knight and what? they're like, I canceled and they're bringing it back. It's a whole thing. Oh, wow. I didn't know it, that. That's in the works, actually. Dang. Yeah. Oh. What if we do a villain one? I've finally seen Black Panther. You guys, you finally you, seen it? You oh, guys cruise. hyped it up. No, I didn't actually see it on the cruise. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was stupid. You guys hyped it what? way too much. What? I didn't what? even think it was amazing. You sound like Carmen in the cool. newest episode of South it Park. It was cool, <laughs> but it wasn't amazing. Like you guys are like, oh man, it's mind blowing. 
one. It was amazing, better than all the other. Mo- no, no, that was like my number two because I still like Doctor Strange. No. One of my Doctor favorites. Strange was was really good, but I think Doctor Strange is my number two. Black Panther my number one. See, I'm flipping. Yeah, so you, I was just like, okay, why is this even that great? Wow. So what? Hold on. What about it didn't you like? I just didn't like it. I I didn't like it. I yeah. thought it was cool. I thought stuff were, was pretty like. Like the technology and all that stuff was pretty pretty awesome, but uh, I yeah I didn't like it. I didn't like the story. I didn't like anything. Yeah, it was yeah I, it was different than what Marvel normally does with the whole like more about the setting, less about the heroes. So I could see where it would be off putting and stuff there. No, yeah, it's too bad. Hopefully, hopefully the sequel grabs you. Yeah, they make a sequel to that because basically so no, I'll wait. New Avengers <laughs> is going to be Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange. Uh, Panther, uh, what else we got? Spider Man, I'm sure. Spider Man, yeah. So it's basically like the new. That's gonna be the new main crew, and then you might get a cameo here and there from like Iron Man yeah. or whatever. I'm still not sold on Captain Marvel from the last trailer. You didn't like that last trailer? I because I told you earlier it was just yeah. she just wasn't emotionless. Like she was just yeah. yeah and it's it funny because I look back at it when you said you did say that, yeah, and I look yeah. back at it and I'm like she's actually kind of smirking more than normal, but more than a normal fil- a hero. And there's something to talk about that on Twitter, mm. but. I can see how you're saying she's not like, like intense or yeah. gripping or anything like that. She's I just, just feel like she was out. straight face a lot. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Let's get into our topic, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be the judge on this one. I'm pretty excited to be a judge. I haven't been one in a little while, so that'll be good. And we're gonna do uh, top five third person shooters. And Squeaks, let's start with you. We got the timer. Ready? Set? Go. All right. So my first one, it's I'm going based off. Um, my favorite. So, oh, oh hold on, real quick, real quick. Okay, like, no, let's do it. I okay. always mess this up, guys. It's like a going thing now where I forget everybody's got to name their five <laughs> first. It's like a joke now. Let me stop our thing. Name your five. Okay, my five is every time. Div- <laughs> Division, Gears of War, Resident Evil Four, Dead Space, and Grand Theft Auto Five. Those are my five. Dead Space. That's I don't know. Right. That's I my know one that uh, I was gonna bring up and mm-hmm. kind of like talk about. Cool. I play a little bit. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Daniel, what's your fives? Uh, the Last of Us, Division, PUBG, or Player Unknown Battleground, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, Resident Evil Four. Zero Fortnite out of both of you, right? What's uh, that? Neither of you guys said Fortnite. Yeah, I'm not. Kidding. No, I, I'm not, I was. I'm not a child. <laughs> oh my oh, god. The I was gonna put that in my honorable mentions because of how big it is and yeah, it is kind of fun. I just suck at it. But um, not child. But yeah, Drum I don't man. do the, I don't go around doing the little dances that all the kids do. I, but, I saw one kid. I mean, like, no, don't do child abuse. But I saw one kid do it in the in the, the store release. Yeah, and I was just like, I just want to open hand slap that kid. I I think of that every time I see it. Yeah, and this, <laughs> I'm just like, be embarrassed. I am God. But yeah, ridiculous. If it if it was if it was more to it, like if people actually enjoyed more of the, like the zombie style, because there's a zombie mode on there too. Yeah, yeah. It's then I might put it on there, but um. I, I like Fortnite, but I don't play yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. The skins pull me in. Yeah, they did a really good job. Cool. The new llama skin. Did you see the new llama skin? Yeah, where he's like in the riding it or something like that. Looks like Well, he's got like it. the metal llama head. It's a DJ llama. Oh, no. I didn't, yeah. oh, I didn't see that one then. I didn't see that one then. Yeah, they, they got they, Funko Pops of uh, Fortnite now coming out. Do they? Uh, yeah, Funko they making all the all money. <laughs> Take my money, please. <laughs> all right, so back on track. All right. Squeaks, number one. All right, my number one, because I'm super passionate about it, is Gears of War. Uh, no surprise there. <laughs> oh my god. Now, the reason why I picked Gears of War, besides story, character, cool, whatever, but we're going, uh, I feel like we'll base it off an of actual third person. Yeah. Um, I like the cover base system, uh, where you just kind of press that button and you're behind a wall or whatever the heck. Um, some of it I like too is when you're behind certain things that get, um, that are possibly blown up or gets wrecked, like wooden um, cover. Mm-hmm. It does get destroyed, so you have to go to a different one. I'm kind of basing all Gears of War, so... I'm not just doing one specific right now. Okay. Um, I mean, I would call that cheating, but go ahead. Ah, uh, come on now. I'm not gonna make it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going for it. But uh, I do like uh, the type of guns they brought in. The famous chainsaw gun. Yeah. Then um, they I think the second one they had the retro gun where it's like the knife at the end of it. And you kind of, kind of could run. Oh, here's another mechanic is when you could run up to someone and stab someone with something and lift them up and throw them. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I like the chainsaw battles you get into. Um, I like the uh, multiplayer, which was neat, except for the fact that if you're really good with a shotgun, you just go up to someone really close and blow them up. But um, I like the game modes on them. 
But one big thing is I just liked all the variety of different guns that they imagined um, when it came to like rocket launcher guns or snipers. All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, so we got Gears of War, Squeaks. Daniel, what do we got for number one? Uh, my number one is going to be um, Battle Gear Solid Five. Oh my god, no yeah. shocker. <laughs> uh, so Metal Gear Solid. Should I just do like everything? Just what's why is it not, why is it the best third person shooter for you? Uh it's fun. There's there's two ways you could pretty much play it. You could play it just sneaking around, just coming up behind somebody and just kill them, or you could just go in, just shoot people, blow things up, blow up vehicles. You got uh, you could. Uh, there's like the known box. You can hide in a box. Yeah. That's pretty fun. I see people try to do the entire game that way. Yeah. And then like other games, uh, the other Metal Gear Solids, like Snake Eater, uh, you're in a jungle and you have to like survive. You break a bone, cut yourself, leeches, you got to burn them off. There was a lot of detail that they put into these this game. Yeah. And then there's like uh, silencer darts and uh, everything. Camos, you can get camos, you can build a base, uh, and then go online and you can attack other people online, which is pretty pretty fun. Yeah. All right, so two solid choices there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Gears of War. Okay, I'm gonna need you to pick a Gears of War because you've got Metal Gear Five, oh my god, and those games vary quite a bit when you go back to like Snake Eater and stuff like that. So yeah, so you gotta pick one. But you, th you talked about Snake Eater though. Yeah, I did the same thing you did. Oh, so so if we're going off of five for okay. him. I need you to pick at least okay, one. Okay. Um, I will go off. Uh, I will do three. Three? Yeah. Okay. Fucking assholes. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> More stuff. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> All right, so we got our five-minute timer. I got a question for you guys. Okay. I'll start with Daniel this time. Can your game be a first-person shooter and be just as good? Yeah, it can. It can? It can. I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. Because you have like the sneaking mechanic and everything, that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, you can still do it. Yeah. Like I said, you don't have to just sneak. You could just go in. Right, you choose. How you shrink, like, uh, you don't have to sneak behind walls or stuff. You could go in a box, like I said. Or you could, because uh, they have the uh, uh, sniper tranquilizing darts. Yeah. So you could still trank everybody and be fine. Okay. And call in people, call in your dogs to attack people. So so there's a lot more going on than just the shooting aspect. Correct. There's okay. a lot of things. Yeah. All right. So for Squeaks for Metal Gear yeah. Solid. No, you, ever heard of, uh, you ever heard of Bulletstorm? That video game? Yeah. That's basically, I think, what it will look like uh, first person. Now think of like different uh, views of the chainsaw battle. So if you have that, um, oh, I'm blanking out what they're called. Um, like the locust okay, right, right in front like that face like think of it like on your TV screen the face is right there and chainsaws going next to it that's pretty badass and then you yeah. cut them up and all that gore and stuff is on the screen um, I feel like it'd be fine because then it's undercover it might be a little different if you're like because on the um, Gears of War you're locked into where you're hiding behind but you might yeah. have to do it Call of Duty style and then pop up um Call of Duty style as in hiding behind a wall and new tubing people. Oh, my bad. I mean, whatever works, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just think with all the gore and the world and the locust and on the screen in front of your face would be a lot more, uh, probably more scary, especially the little crawlers. So that what I want to know basically is, is third person the best way to play? Like, is this game good because of its third person? Um... I, don't I think because like we just grew up with the third person on both the games that we're just used to it. But uh, if I were to want to play it like a Grand Theft Auto where they switched to first person, I think that'd be awesome too. Is just getting it in your face like so that. So both interchangeable? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I like third person a lot though because I, I have a thing where I like to see my character. I don't know. Yeah, I just yeah. think it's kind of cool. Especially yeah, when you get customized characters. When you get the shaky yeah. cam on, on Gears too, that kind of, you know, yeah, I think yeah. it can only be experienced through third person. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back to Daniel's number one on this one again. And Daniel, signature weapons. I want to know the variety of weapons the game has, and how is it? Is it based off of one solo weapon, or is it based off of many weapons? Can you think of some really fun weapons? And like Fortnite, for example, came out with the uh, the uh, grappling gun and stuff like that. And now it's changing gameplay and stuff like that. Do you have weapons in Metal Gear Solid that are really unique, really diverse? That you is, it, or is it just like one gun? No, the gun, the sleeping gun. <laughs> 
There's uh, multiple <laughs> the weapons. Yeah. Uh, I would say the box is a weapon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because you, like, I'm being serious. You could just wait for them to come up to you, wait for them to turn around, then get out of the box and just yeah. kill them. Or there's a, uh, you, uh, what's her name? Uh, Whisper? What's that girl? The, Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. Uh, she's a weapon too because uh, you can have her snipe people while you're going through the whole place. She'll like lock into targets and snipe them. And then you get dogs too. Oh, actually a dog that you can send to attack somebody. Yeah. So that's another weapon. There is guns, rocket launchers, mines, everything. Yeah. There's all that. Uh, your main weapon is the pistol with a, uh, a, a silent with a suppressor on it. Yeah. That's your main weapon, but there's multiple weapons. There's different ways to kill people. And, uh, yeah. All right. And for you, what other, because what, I know, okay, we know the yeah. chainsaw weapon. Yeah. What other weapons in the game are unique, fun, diverse? Something that, so the thing is, like, in third person, first person, you just have guns and that's fine. You don't necessarily need cool items. In third person, you want to be able to experience cool items better. So, you know, you, you have better view of what you're surrounding. So cool mm -hmm. bombs and stuff like that look better. What kind of weapons um, do you I don't remember when this uh, grenade launcher was debuted, um, but I'm just going to say it anyway, uh, which one it was. Yeah. But it was one where you get to shoot it, and you hold down your trigger button, and you see it kind of going at a certain distance, and when you let go of it, it'll just drop straight into the ground oh, and blows cool. up. Uh, so I like that. I forgot what it was called, and I forgot when it debuted in which game. But there's that one, plus even from the first one, oh, I'm talking about Gears of War 3, but... Their grenades are neat for the reason that if you are in close combat, you can just hit them with the grenade and it sticks on them. So a lot of times in multiplayer, you get stuck by a grenade, you accidentally roll into a teammate, it'll blow up everyone around you. Uh, pistols, there is a special revolver where it takes a little bit of, it's not as much ammo, but it gets some ammo where you can just directly headshot and the head will just explode. Yeah. Um, and those are just the side weapons. Oh, um, yeah. can, I, can I bring something up? Yeah. All right. So one thing that was pretty cool you're going to agree with this. Okay. Uh, it, I don't know, because I think it was Metal Gear Fall, Solid 5, mm -hmm. and then number Snake Eater. There's a guy you face, and he knows what you're thinking. Remember that? So he knows what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to shoot him, he knows you're going to shoot him. The only way to beat him was to unplug your mouse and connect it to the second port. I thought that was pretty That's awesome. That's amazing. That what was awesome. Know? Remember that? I, I never played it, it, it was, on the computer. Was, so it was know. the, uh, it wasn't with Snake. It was with the blonde guy. And you had to go. Oh, uh, Raiden? Shit. Yeah. And I think number five did something kind of similar. I can't remember what you had to do, but well, I thought that was pretty awesome. I like the, that attempt at something different. Yeah, because he cool. knew exactly what you are going to do. And the only way to trick him was to unplug your thing and connect it to the second port on the PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. Remember okay. that? That was awesome. That's cool. That now, how great. would you beat him without doing that, though? You couldn't. You can't. That, that's that the thing. That's why I thought it was pretty cool. Wouldn't that be a bad move, though, of like, oh, nobody can beat this, then I have to look it up? PlayStation 2 days, I mean, I don't have a cell you phone to look You have to just try. That, back in, like, right now, we're all pansies compared to how yeah. it used to be. It yeah. used to be where you would sit your head, hit your head against the wall for hundreds of attempts. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you you look up the guide real fast. Back in the day, when you were a kid, you just kept trying and kept trying. You have to tell your dad if your game's broken or whatever, but you just keep trying. And yeah. eventually, you're just like goofing around almost, but try something like that, and then. Oh. Uh, it seems way out there to bring That's it. like a good example. Ready Player One. Just watch some of the movies and we'll jazz it. Yeah, yeah. But that, the game at the end where they were like, yeah, you had to kind of like randomly explore some random room. Then you found the key that showed the guy the credit to who made the game. Yeah. It was something that wasn't about beating the game real yeah, fast. It was yeah. just trying different things out mm. exploring. Mm. So, you're, like a, you're like a World of Warcraft player. Why everything handed down like, hey. I want this Whoa. easier. You gotta speak I want, up. You gotta speak I want up. this easier. I need this easier. Yeah, he's he's yeah. he's so cataclysm, and we're more vanilla, where we do things the hard way. <laughs> this guy is too yeah. hard. He's, he's so Pandaria. <laughs> we're so BFA. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so we're out there grinding around. <laughs> you're like, that. wait, I don't play till LFR comes out. Uh, I'm gonna wait when they come out with a like a thing to make it so I get my rep. Or my AP. I'm pretty excited for that 8.1. Oh, my <laughs> so I get my uh, hard ass rub fit on everybody. All right, so I made my choice. You didn't finish your ass rub? Can you your ass rub? I do on one, but I don't have an, I have I have three mains I'm working right now. I need oh. it on all of them. Anyway, so I have my number one. I'm going with Metal Gear Solid. What the hell? Did you not hear the argument? <laughs> I totally did, and this is why. Oh, my gosh. I only base these off of arguments. I haven't even, okay. you know, so 
With Metal Gear Solid, the reason I pick Metal Gear Solid is I think they take advantage more of the wider scope of the game when you're in third person. You're able to do different cooler things. The box view, you couldn't see that in first person. You'd be looking at cardboard in your face. And yeah, watching, there's a hole in the box. Yeah, there's actually solved. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You look so what's your number one? Two. Yeah. <laughs> but when you, but what, I mean, like watching the box kills on YouTube, that's just YouTube gold. But um, there's so many different varieties of way of killing people. That wasn't in English, but that um, that when you when you do it in first person, it doesn't look as good as it does in third person. So I think they're taking advantage of the third person better than Gears is. The advantage to Gears in third person is the fact that you see the shaky cam, you get the cinematics, you kill somebody. But if you were to put those cinematics, you were almost pitching it better to be a first person game than you were a third person in that sense. I mean, you know, yeah. So I'm just going to go... Give me a job, Epic. It's, wait, <laughs> it's a good game. Gears of War is a good no, game. No, Gears of War, yeah. But Metal Gear Solid Five is one of my favorites for sure, though. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Open world is cool, but... I don't have enough time to play open world. Yeah, That's the problem. Yeah, I didn't like coming open worlds. So. Everything's being yeah. Open. They used to pitch that. I remember like, oh, Skyrim's coming out. It's got 700 hours of gameplay. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. oh my god, I got other games lined up. Come no, on, no. guys. So it's like, you just want to rush and beat the mission. And then it's like, mm. All right, so now we're looking at number two. And we'll start with Daniel. Daniel, what's your number two? Uh, my number two is going to be The Last of Us. Oh, man. Good luck, Squeaks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it, Daniel. Uh, so I chose The Last of Us because it's a third-person game. It's not, uh, not a crazy shooter game. It's uh, pretty much like a lot of sneaking around, hiding, because yeah. there's uh, these guys called crickets. They're mutated. Uh, and uh, I chose it, too, because of the story. I got hooked on the story. I almost cried. I got... Yeah, it, it was a really good story. Like, yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but... Uh, well, really, if you haven't played by now, then, you know, you deserve yeah. to have it spoiled. Yeah. Well, at least be familiar with the story. It's it's now video game, like, mandatory video game knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so you get to pretty much play with two characters at certain points. Oh, my bad. Uh, and uh, there's different guns, but the game's not all about the guns. That was a good pitch, though. That's a good game. Yeah. All right. So okay. that's the last of us from <laughs> Daniel. Squeaks, what you doing? I'm using my Tiana roll. Tiana rolls in. Oh, wow. Okay. Activate Tiana roll. Right. Now, Last yourself. of Us is an amazing game, but you don't. So I don't why would you ever, put gears against it? Because I don't ever. I'm I'm going on third person shooter, and you're and you're right, you're sneaking around doing whatever, and it's a great story and stuff. But come, if you're doing shooter against shooter, Gears of War is way more entertaining than Last of Us. All you're doing is hiding around. You got basic guns. You got no creativity in the guns. It's all the same. Um, uh, the sneaking around. I mean, it's hard. It's easy to go up against shooting wise and how fun it is. But everything else, like they made an amazing story within one game that Gears of War was like five games in to build this crazy story. But if I'm doing shooter, it has to be Gears of War. There's way more guns, way more fast pace. Wait, but um, honestly, you only use the chainsaw. You know what? I use shotguns. I use the rifles from the lo Locust. Did you do it wrong? I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you do, but I'm a way advanced in all the gun guns. Snipers, everything. Yeah. Yeah, but mostly you do use just the chainsaw because of the, uh, uh, has the, the, the chainsaw on it. You use the machine gun. Once you're learning out of ammo, you're using the chainsaw. Most of the time, you're no, not I dropping pick up that another gun, gun. No. Most That's of the time, how I play. I pick up another. I don't know what noobs do. I on think Gears everybody of War. does it too. No, they all. Well, I, mean, I pick up whatever I'm out of. I'm okay. Fine. I'm so advanced. I just pick up whatever guns on the ground. But I'll but go in, in head first with a sniper. In Daniel's defense, though, I mean, like when you first play Gears, at least you definitely got to use the chainsaw. You overly use the chainsaw gun because it's something unique to that game. Yeah. In yeah, his defense, yeah. that's it's like your first. As much as you have played, yeah, yeah, you probably don't care now. But if they got rid of that chainsaw gun. Let's yeah. just say just random guns, like okay. pistols, like machine guns. You yeah, think yeah. it would be, like, that big? Well, if nah. I got rid of the chainsaw gun, then I'd get the retro uh, Lancer. Uh, or i get the Locust uh, yeah. the Burst gun. I think it would still be good, but I think it's a big part of the game. Just like it, it just like with the... Uh, it is a big part of the game, that's how they advertise. Yeah, Halo's course. got that too, though, like with the Needler. If, the, if they all yeah. like the Needler and some of those other guns, yeah. signature game, guns are gone, we're kind of like, eh, I'm, I missed And then things. when you look at that gun, though, you know where it's from. That's how popular it is. Yeah. You look oh, at yeah. a gun at uh, Last of Us, just a normal gun. Yeah. I'm mean, just basing off a shooter. All right, so we're going with my time now, I guys. Mean, last of Us would be like a, like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So first question, big part of third person is that you're looking at your own character. Mm. Do you get to just, uh, customize the way your character looks? We're going with Squeaks first. I uh, know. No. Oh, um, damn, I don't remember. Uh, I know, I don't remember the third one online, but I know online on the newest one, you can uh, change the um, weapons of the character, what you look like. Uh, the third one's so old, so I don't remember it. I haven't played that one in years. Yeah. I would just say no, just to be safe, though. Okay, so... I know you so get different you colored guns, I same looking guy the whole time. Yeah, different colored guns, though. Because I know there was like a... Which is better for first person than third. <laughs> well, you still see it, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, Daniel, can you customize your character at all? Do you upgrade your gear? And can you look at something new? Uh, no, you don't. Both of them are stagnant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all... It's mainly story. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, it's not like... Heavy Rain, right? Is that the game? It's like, yeah, it's it? all story. It, it, there's action. There's yeah, yeah. Sad, no, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much like you're held through the story. And you don't want any of them to change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so and then next question is, and again, we'll go, we'll start squeezing on this one. How is the targeting of the game? How accurate is the shooting? Is it just, is, is shooting secondary or primary in your gameplay? Well, I mean, it has to be primary if, uh, I mean, you have all these, like, monster-type people coming at you. Right. Um, I would say it's kind of like a normal shooting game where if you shoot up, it kind of moves a little bit, staggers, yeah. so you try to keep it in place. Um, yeah, I guess so. I think it does it have auto-locking? Is no, it all no scale auto-locking. Based? That I know. No auto-locking. No. The only time I remember locking on anything... Is when you use the hammer of dawn. I remember mm-hmm. that you like target someone with a laser, and then that sunlight beam comes down from yeah. the sky, it kills a bunch of monsters or, what, or kills whatever big monsters. Yeah, it's the only thing I think of auto locking. Yeah. Okay. And now Daniel, how is the shooting? How is the targeting? Auto locking on or off? Honestly, don't know. Like I don't remember. I haven't played in. I think it's the... just regular though. No auto locking either. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of like yeah. aiming. So Hopefully what I want to know, so for like a good example is a really great game that I like a lot is and was number one on my list was Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. But the shooting of Grand Theft Auto is it's lackluster. Yeah. Although the game itself is amazing. Yeah. And and we're judging the entire game, but with the focus on the shooting. So that's what I want to know is how is the shooting in the game compared to the rest of the game? I would say like kind of like Gears of War, no, no fuck, no um, auto locking. Just hopefully you you're a good shot. Yeah. Hopefully you're a really good shot or you just ran out of bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I love the game. Love the story. All right. So this is a tough one because we have the Tiana roll in effect and we have a hell of a good story over here. We story. Have, and like a no story over there. For the, what the for hell? So <laughs> yeah, it's actually a story, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you kind of need to pay We're doing third person shooter. Cause... Are we doing storytelling? I'm just saying. It's, we're doing the game. <laughs> oh the whole game. Gosh. And I'm looking at shooting too, and that's definitely Gears pulls ahead in the shooting. Hmm. I think I gotta go... I it, And it's hard because it's also like Gears to me kind of was that shaky cam over the shoulder thing. Uh, to me, I think it's the first one that was over the shoulder, which is a whole different kind of third person shooting. So it's important, but... Oh, man. You're kidding me right now. The Last of Us is too good to be below number two. Oh, my gosh. So, it's so, on a rule affected. Oh, my gosh. Gears is off the table. Wow. There's going to be a lot of people that don't watch it, listen to us anymore. <laughs> God. Uh, I know, man. You should have put it up against Last of Us. You had an advantage in hearing what he was going to pick. I know. That was your problem. You should have put no, it against such a good game. No, no. BS. BS. <laughs> it's one of the best games ever. And anyways... All right, so we're going to uh, into our next one, and Daniel, your number three, go. Uh, division. Division, okay. And you've got a minute, so go for it. Uh, so I p- chose the uh, division because the uh, third person shooter, uh, unique because it's almost like wow in a way. Uh, you got raids, which Seven is the dark two. zone. Um, and you could team up with other people and pretty much do missions, get higher level, find better gear, and then uh, yeah, it's, that's pretty much it. Like different guns. That How are, was the shooting compared to other shooting? Uh, the shooting in the game is kind of like a Gears of War shooting, but it it was really clunky on the moving because you would always get stuck on a wall. That was yeah. the only issue. Just uh, like Gears of War. You have ten seconds. Well, I'll just pause it real quick. 
Are you helping, Judge? No, I'm not. I'm but I, I just want to remind him <laughs> that that game had critical critical strikes, something that wasn't seen in a lot of other shooting games. Yeah, that's stats and stuff, but I still don't enjoy it. I mean, like, stats. when you're shooting their head, it turns purple because it's critical hitting. Oh, yeah, see, I just learned that. <laughs> I, I that explains why I'm carrying you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, so Squeaks, what do we got for your number three? All right, so I, Division's on my thing, and it, I think it's pretty amazing, too, but uh, I'm going to just I'm gonna fight you. So I'm going to go with uh, Dead Space. Dead now, space. the only oh, reason cool. why I brought up Dead Space you just, want, little... you just want him to win the whole yeah, time? Yeah, I know. That's oh, my gosh. Yeah, you just that... going for the five. Apparently, you're, it seems like our judge is uh, pretty biased on uh, no. he having his own opinions affect his choices. No, nope, I haven't. Arguments. So Dead Space, a game I have not played, <sighs> go for it. Okay, Sell so it you brought up earlier about how the shooting works. And this game is where you have to shoot the limbs of these aliens to make them fall down. I like that. So it's not just... Each alien's different. So your main basic alien that's uh, in the game that's advertised everywhere, um, what you do is shoot its legs off first. And then you sh- he has these arms uh, hanging off on the back of him too. So the way to kill instead of headshots with these aliens are you got to shoot off its limbs. So you're literally trying to aim at its legs and its arms that are coming out of its back. Uh, big horror game. So of course you like I like the horror stuff. Right. Um, super scary. So it's all in space uh, about like a colony just living it out in space now. So you go and see well, how come they're not communicating to us anymore. Next thing you know, you get there. It's like an alien situation. Everyone's dead, and you're trying to figure it out. But each alien's unique. Each alien's different. There's like a little baby one that has like um these uh it shoots out. It's kind of like a sniper. It shoots out needles at you, but it has like uh these arms or something not arms but things stick out in the back and you want to shoot it's pretty much to shoot limbs you're aiming it's not just headshots and stuff okay all right so we got dead space versus division uh real quick the rage are coming to division in the next one i'm looking forward to the next one but we're yeah, going to watch too, DC. actually yeah are we all getting it are you getting it on pc or are you getting it on xbox can you xbox crossplay with pc you might be able to because now division's on game pass so in that case, I'll just get it on Xbox. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. Then we're gonna be better than you, just so you know. Whoa, what PC's the heck? PC's targeting is way better than. Oh, see, Xbox. his, his oh, issue gosh. is he bought this but I'm, instead of buying a gaming computer. But oh, yeah, this true. is like a hundred some bucks. Though. Yeah, that's a hundred. I know because it's, oh, it's, it's a thin card. Uh, it's a thin memory. Stick. Yeah, but I'm better Man. overall, so I don't need a PC. Okay, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> I guess we're just making stuff up as we go. So. <laughs> hey, I love when this guy will be like, "Oh, we never." Oh, yeah, well, if you got a gaming computer, uh, oh, yeah, that's not hanging. That's what you call hanging out. Yeah, Get out of here, literally, we do talk all the time. We <laughs> actually are. We are on Discord. Anyway, anyway. you can join us and yeah. be a friend. But we don't anyway. even play Sea of Thieves anymore. What happened? Oh yeah, I'm waiting, waiting for you. for you. I'll set sail. <laughs> waiting for you. We were waiting come, for come you. Come back to Wow. <laughs> don't come back to Wow. Enjoy your life. It's so yeah. sunny outside. <laughs> There's like things to do. There's fresh air. Yeah, you should though build a gaming PC. You should come Cyber back. Monday. You should come back to well. No. Okay, so we're starting my time. We have Dead Space versus Division. Here's a question for you guys. Bullet count. How important is bullet count to your game? And we're starting with Daniel for the first on this one. How important is bullet count for you? What do you mean by bullet count? In Division, how important is it? Is it hard to find bullets? Do you need to keep uh, manage your bullets? Are bullets important for the target? Certain bullets are important for certain target? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, some... This... Bias? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so, bullet count is important. Uh, the higher... Because you could go into uh, different groups, and if they're higher level than you, then you're definitely going to waste a lot. Because they'll be like level... Let's say they're level 20 and you're level 10. You're going to need a lot of bullets. But it is easy to find. They are easy to find. You just yeah. kill somebody. Usually they drop a certain bullet or grenade or whatever or there's loot box there's little boxes so it is easy to find but if you're a lower level you're gonna go through boxes of ammo yeah just a really depends okay what do we got okay so i would say it's a little harder that's what makes it more like the survival horror yeah um you have to be precise on where you shoot. If you're going to spray an alien, then you're going to be out of ammo and there's going to be five more aliens at you. So that's why it's very uh, important to shoot the alien in specific areas. Because you could honestly kill an alien in two shots, or it might take you ten shots, depending on where you hit him at. You can only get your ammo through a shop. There's like little checkpoints where you save the game, but you can also so you buy stuff. you can't pick it up anywhere? 
Or there's boxes on the ground where you can stomp and try to get ammo. Okay. But you can waste ammo super fast if you're just going to spray at an alien. Because you're spraying at the body, but that's not where their weak points are. Okay. So they can absorb more. Okay, next question. If you can compare this to another game that maybe I've played, maybe I haven't played, but and then kind of see it, give you some comparisons between the two, go for it. Daniel, compare Division to another game. Well, can I uh, ask another question real quick? Yeah. So you You're would, asking questions. So now. you would say your game... It's pretty much The Last of Us, but you were saying that The Last of Us wasn't a shooter, which your game barely even shoots because you barely have any ammo, right, Squeaks? But you have what? to be precise on where you shoot. Oh, man. There, yeah. You have to be precise in The Last of Us because you don't what? have enough bullets. There's no... Headshots. Certainly. Yeah, yeah but headshots. headshots is everything. Precise, correct? This is different. A headshot is a precise shot. Yeah, for sure. Because it, it's a one shot, one kill, correct? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. So, Yeah. I just yeah. that's all I wanted okay. to say, everybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Division compared to another game. Oh, that's tough. I would say Division would be like Gears of Gears of War slash. But she doesn't like Gears of War, so. <laughs> uh, it could be a first person shooter. I'm just saying. You know, you could compare it to a first person shooter too. I'm just saying, compare it to another game and then explain why it's like that game. That's tough, man. You want to go have him go first? Yeah, let's yeah. go. Uh, Resident Evil 4, 5, 6. You played any of those? Or I'm even The that. Last of okay. Us, that was number two. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say those. Same with the horror and the scariness, little pop-out scenes and whatnot. But um, I remember one of the Resident... I think it's 5, Resident, Resident Evil, that you could actually shoot its legs and it'll still be crawling and then you kind of try to finish them off. Yeah. It'd be like um, wherever you shoot, it affects the target. And that's the same thing with this Dead Space. Wherever you shoot, the alien affects what... If I shoot its legs off in one shot, it's still on the ground, but crawling to you. So I have to finish it off. So let me ask you something. You keep bringing that part up. Is it like the gimmick of the game is that you have to shoot limbs? Cause, so so if I were to compare your game to another game, I would say Bioshock. Does that seem... Why? Because of the horror aspect, the limited bullet okay. count. Okay. But you are picking a game, comparing it to another game, solely off the limb dependency. Only because is that kind it, of the gimmick of the game then? Well, uh, isn't it laser? It, 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 I'm, I'm basing it off the main alien. Yeah, it's like laser bullets, or whatever. Yeah, it's I'm laser. basing it off the main alien. That's kind of like the, I don't know, the the image of the monsters. Right. But each alien or whatever is different. There are different targets for like um, you shoot a big one, but the weak spot is like its stomach because it's like uh, I don't know, just like an effective area. But I'm just giving off the basic alien. Okay. The known one, I guess. Okay. All right. What do we got? Uh, me, honestly. <sighs> It, shooter and like the moving I would say Gears of War but the other stuff there's no really game like it because it's like PvP it's teaming up there's no other game that there's there's one game there that's is? just like that uh, I can't remember but right now I'm only thinking Gears of War and just shooting I'm not so. helping him okay I'm just no no I think I'm thinking of the same game that's right. I'm not thinking I don't know you were good at it too that's why I'm surprised you didn't say it uh, shoot I can't remember right now alright all right, I'm gonna go ahead and judge you guys off of Destiny and I mean Division and um, Dead Space and <laughs> um, I gotta say, God, I'm not trying to be biased, but oh my gosh, <laughs> you're <laughs> kidding me! Wow. I'm killing these arguments right now. Not really. You honestly, so here's the problem: is is and I, I kind of brought it up so that you kind of kind of walk around it, but it feels like it's just about shooting limbs and so it reminds me so much of like one of those arcade games yeah. where you walk up and like the zombies would come at you and you're like shoot yeah. the bottle coming at you real quick or just something yeah, yeah, yeah. it didn't feel like there was anything else to that game but that aspect yeah, yeah. I'm going completely off of just the description and his whole hiding behind walls and uh, he, Gears he, he talked about PvP <laughs> and he, well yeah but Gears yeah, of War but made Gears it on the list oh no it didn't make it on the list yeah. Gears of War didn't have the PvP like yeah. Well, zone, not to that, not to the level. Up, and yeah. then you could customize your character. So, so solely off the argument is you had one aspect of the game you kept bringing up, basically, and he limbs. had multiple aspects. Yeah, I'm gonna cut my limbs. So for that, I'm going division for number three. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see. Without, I I know why you're not a judge as much now. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm nailing it. So I'm, I'm fans. Let us know what's the best judge. You guys listen yeah, to the episodes. Right. It's probably Joe because he does terrible as a guest, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're moving on to number four, and we'll go Squeaks first. Squeaks, you're number four. Um, just for me to win one spot, I'll go Grand Theft Auto V. 
Oh, okay, I'm gonna be non biased. Oh, Fully yeah. off of your, because it's the only way I do this. Fully <laughs> off your description. And I'm gonna go and reset my timer because I just interrupted you. Go. Alright, the game's trash. Um, I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Terrible way to start. I'm he just would, saying. He would pick me still. No. Terrible way to okay. start. Uh, no, I think it was the uh, first. What's this? The first Grand Theft Auto that we had actually aiming. We Correct me if I'm game. wrong. No, 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 no. no, not not the targeting stuff though, but like actual aiming. I don't think it's the first. Um, which one would be? Number be four the is pretty similar in the shooting style. Four, which is uh, where you're the East East European guy coming over to New York, Liberty mm-hmm. City. Sorry, yeah. I thought it was targeting too. I don't know. Yeah. But you're down to thirty seconds. So yeah, well, um, uh, super fun. I don't know, just driving around, shooting everything. I I'm bombing this it. one. Because <laughs> 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 he'll still pick it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying it's not. Uh, no, just super fun. I love all the, the fun addicts, the drug use and whatnot, and shooting, <laughs> shooting whoever you want. I think the opening, you, I think the opening world of just killing everything you want is you fun. You kill him is one of my favorite games. <laughs> I know, I know, so I, am. At I know, I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just decent. I thought it was cool. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think Daniel will win this one. I have no game. notes for this. <laughs> I need you to take this seriously, man. It's a good game. <laughs> All right, Daniel, what is your number four? Uh, I'm going to say Resident Evil 4. Oh, my God. It doesn't deserve to be Grand Theft Auto, but here it comes. <laughs> it's going to. So I chose Resident Evil 4 because uh, they changed the way the shooters are. Everybody knows. It was like before it was like you're looking at the side view and, yeah, you'd shoot, aim like this, up, down. And uh, they pretty much made it a third-person shooter, and it became one of the biggest third person shooters that they remade and everybody knows well most people is about uh the president's daughter gets kidnapped and he goes into a village the village ends up having like a mutation or something like that and uh you go through the whole uh game finding puzzles to open doors and then finding bosses finding ammo different guns and uh other things like that a lot of times you're just running around in circles especially like the harder modes yeah and uh yeah it's a really good game there's no customizing your character but that's actually you, my first question uh yeah your main character is leon you don't yeah. need to customize him yeah. he's a badass <laughs> okay so on to the first question you can't customize your character is there anything you can customize uh uh no Oh, no, so uh, like you can make things like health pots and stuff like that, herbs to make health, but there's no like so it's cust- crafting, but not yeah, there's nothing customized yeah, because that was like an older game. So yeah, just... this is number four you're selling, right? Yes, because okay. that was like the first third person of all the like that's what made all the Resident Evils today. Okay, and you're you're talking GTA Five? Yes, right. Okay. Customization in GTA Five. I know there's a lot of it, but can you describe it and then say your favorite? Um, the cars. Okay, so nothing has... to do with shooting. Cool. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. You can't customize my shooting. Can I you? No, no, no. You, oh, you, can, change you can change weapons. I mean, weapons. we're talking about a whole game. You said so. I mean, yeah, yeah. If I had to customize though, I would just throw it out there for the heck of it. I think playing three different characters, always being in the action, is a customization. Let's just say, in a way, if I wanted to be. The hood guy, Franklin, I'd be that character. If I wanted to be that crack addict, Trevor? Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, I'd be that guy. Or the wrecked family. Michael. Michael? Michael, Michael? yeah. Uh, I'd be that guy. So that way. No, the cars are fun. The cars are fun. That's the only thing I can think of that it was customization that I actually used. Yeah. Um, um, did you say customize the clothes and change clothes? And stuff? You can't change clothes, yeah, can yeah. you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Dang, I guess I didn't do any clothes changing. You are so. murdering this, by the way. <laughs> you thought people could be mad about Gears of War? Ain't nobody care about no Gears of War when GTA might not make a top five for a third oh, person shoes. Man. Oh, and man. you didn't know you could customize clothes when the first thing I do is go buy a nice suit? Wait, did you bring up the online aspect of the game? How I'm waiting for the t- questions. Oh, my God. I'm waiting for the questions. There's a lot of questions coming. I'm trying <laughs> to help them out, too. Just so I'm, not, no, I'm not trying to help anybody out. I'm trying it. to help them out I now. feel bad. I feel bad for her. It's such a good game. It's a amazing part. Okay, so next question. Other than shooting, do you have any innate special abilities in your character, Daniel going first, that makes you better? Like, so for, for do you have anything that's other, outside of just shooting? It could be, like, unique weapons or unique abilities that makes you amazing. Uh, no, it's just... Pretty much all skills. Nothing shooting. that makes you like God mode where you feel overpowered or anything like that? 
Uh, there's probably I think there's a weapon you unlock because I know the other Resident Evils you unlock the we a weapon that's like Infinity, uh, like you don't run out of ammo mm. and but I kind of been into the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, there's not really anything too big. It's more skill shooting. I try to get headshots because then you'll kill them faster. Or yeah. sometimes there's like creatures that come out of their heads that are like some warm, and then you gotta like do another warm shot pretty much yeah. like try to kill the guy kill the warm but um yeah nothing really too big can i uh help squeaks with that question too for GTA? if i need help oh, okay. if, if he needs help let's see if we can do it squeaks okay, let me let abilities. me try to remember michael's was the bullet ability right where he slows down time and he shoots stuff right or shoots He's people more accurate. Yeah, I don't like okay it. so there's that one uh franklin had the driving one where you slow down you can cut turns and whatnot uh, Trevor, I forgot Trevor's though. Basically, a juggernaut. Okay, is takes it? more bullets yeah, and does forgot, more damage. I forgot Trevor's was. Um, I would think also a special ability is when uh, Michael does drugs and uh, he gets to yeah. shoot all these like clowns or something at him. Remember that in the mm -hmm. park? <laughs> That's a special ability. Okay, drugs give you abilities. Okay, good message <laughs> from the podcast. Hope you guys uh, <laughs> drop out of school quick. You don't need that stuff, and then like get into them drugs. But uh, yeah, so there are special abilities for each different character. Okay. So, outside of shooting, basically, yeah. there's a lot more you can do. Mm. Um, and then one more question. Let's go with um, target importance. So, is it more important that you do headshots, limb shots, anything like that in the game? Is your shooting capabilities and accuracy important to damage done? Daniel, you first. Uh, yes, because uh, usually you get a horde of villagers at attacking you. And... Uh, they're, they don't have guns in this, but they have weapons, and what's the, it's not a scythe, but it's like a smaller version to cut, like, so usually they have those, and then they'll come up to you, but the issue is, um, a lot of times they run after you, too, Yeah. and so you need to do a headshot, and then when, if that, that thing comes out of their head, you gotta do another headshot fast enough, or it does more damage, and... It's, so you're actually timed on the second item. The second target. Yeah, well, yeah, you gotta hurry up or you're gonna take a lot of damage. And usually there's a horde, so you're like constantly having to run away, shoot, shoot, and then uh, just keep doing that. And then uh, even the boss fights are pretty, pretty insane. Yeah. Golem, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Same uh, question, I would say, yeah, <laughs> especially like headshots like uh, Daniel brought up earlier. But besides like shooting people, I think what I liked a lot was the uh, shooting of uh, vehicles. Yeah. I think that's a part in certain areas that make it blow up faster. I think when you're in a car chase that, okay, I don't have time to, or I don't have a perfect shot to shoot the person driving the car, so I'm just going to try to blow up the car. So you aim at different spots, especially like helicopters too and whatnot. So I think of it as the more of a vehicle aspect to try to, I don't know, just make more havoc. Okay. So... Is it uh, so are you gonna like now choose something, pick something? Pick a one out of two. Okay, can I just like? No, but the best. this doesn't like help him. This is just my thing. GTA is amazing. I love it. It's a fantastic game. Yeah. It deserves really especially good when you get five stars. <laughs> you you get five stars and try to oh, get yeah. the tank. Yeah, and then just try to get away from the cops. Things like are just that. shattering on yeah, you. Yeah, like when you're yeah. bored, you're doing that. Or there's like the online. You're racing. You're stealing, hell, uh, robbing banks and stuff like that. Yeah, I see. There, I was waiting for an so, online question, but uh, you didn't have to it. wait for a question. You, you could have, I needed it. it. I it was should, wanted to. It should yeah. honestly be Resident Evil, but with your yeah. thing, should it? Yeah. Because you did it. But I don't it. think um, Division should have bought Death Space. So it, it's Argument all wise. about the arguments behind it. And that's, that's what I thought. It, it is. But you just kept bringing up limbs. You were like, Joe, oh, yeah. it's, oh a, it's a good game. You. That's literally why Dead Space lost, is because you didn't say anything else, but you shoot limbs. Well, because we're... Uh, okay, I'm basing off of shooting, that's why. I'm basing what off was the whole story about? Well, the whole game, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just narrowing down what kind of game it is. I I'm asking shooting questions because it's how you play these games. Hmm. But yeah, you only brought up shooting uh, limbs. Yeah, I'm only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, on this round... Grand Theft Auto should be number four, <laughs> but you did a terrible job def defending it. Yeah, and it yeah. kills me because to me, off you guys look at my list, it's number one, and Resident Evil Four gets this one. Oh my god, right, I right, feel so right. gross. I'm right. terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just this was still better terrible. than the first time you did this. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, I mean, so the quality is gonna be way better. <laughs> All right, so we got our last round. 
Let's try to defend games well. I'm looking at you, Squeaks. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna bring up a game that should be number one. All right, and we'll start with we'll start with Squeaks. Squeaks. Okay, so okay. everything I have is done basically. So my last one is have it to be Grand Theft Auto Five Tiana Roll. Okay. So Tiana Roll for Grand Theft Auto Five. Let me be serious on this one now, so I get talk one about up there. how great the game is as a whole and right. shooting Go as on. a whole. Okay. Um, the online was my favorite part of the uh, the game. Explain uh, it. Online should have been every single Grand Theft Auto what it should have been. Uh, when you're teaming up with like four other people and you customize your character, we talked about customizing character. Can you do that? Then yeah, you can. Um, I had my guy look like uh, a member from the NWA. I thought it was kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> but but to have different roles. Um, but still doing the same mission is what's amazing. Because while I'm breaking in a prison and shooting it all up, there's a helicopter that someone on my team is flying, and then there's a car somewhere else along the map that someone is taking care of to get wherever. Yeah. So online, they nailed it, and it's amazing. Um, besides uh, shooting, driving cool, the helicopter aspect is fun as well, and jumping and parachuting is whatever. But besides all that, I think the story is pretty fun. It's always uh, entertaining in a way. You're playing three different characters. Yeah. And each one kind of jumps cool. you into always having action because they're all doing different things. Yeah. So I feel like there's never a dull moment in this game. I agree. Even the dull moments are fun. Yeah. Have you guys ever done this a great thought of where you try to like obey the traffic laws? No, oh, yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, I did. Yeah. That oh. was so hard. Like, yeah. you hit the stop at the stop. Oh, oh yeah, I did that for like, flying around board. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so fun. It's just when you're I think really everyone's done that bored, before. It's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> I, that game is awesome. I hated the helicopters, but I love the planes. I love like the landing and like yeah. just taking off. That yeah. was like the fun. And, and then, then like trying to avoid the military base right oh, there. Yeah, just yeah. Like, oh, no, no, no. I think that's what's cool though, is when you have it online and you know someone that's good at the helicopter stuff, then it's like, okay, well, that's your job. I yeah, only used player. to be like, I was good at flying planes, landing planes, but helicopters, I hated controlling helicopters because yeah. all of a sudden your tail would just like swing. <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh, shoot. Yeah. That was uh, me in Wildlands, which was also on my list of uh, third person shooting. Yeah. Wildlands, that third person shooter, that, that, that was my helicopter job because I was always the one just, I all right, guys, really, chopper. That's mm-hmm. actually a good game, too. That's a really good game, yeah. I'm, yeah. I love Wildlands, man. It takes a lot of time. I want to play some Wildlands down there. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I had mentioned this last time we recorded in Wildlands. Did you know that there's a after yeah, you predator, 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 predator? Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, can actually yeah. like fight predator. I saw yeah. him beat him because he's a punk. I thought it was fake, and then when you start watching on YouTube, I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is real. And he yeah. like has all the health in the world. Yeah, it's yeah. just such a pain to get him down. I need people to log on for it. All right, Daniel, let's go, man. What are you gonna bring up against GTA? Oh, uh, PUBG. No, oh, well, nothing. Good job. Are you serious? Have you played PUBG? Broken. Hold on. Tell me when it when it's working, and then PUBG's- I'll play. Awesome game. It's actually yeah. always working. Is that the Fortnite one? No. No, actually, <laughs> no Fortnite. it's not. It's that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> no, PUBG. If if PUBG worked because everyone talks about how it's kind of messed up still or whatever, I would have been playing that over Fortnite easy. Which I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but yeah. I don't like the building part of Fortnite. I don't. Either. That takes it away of PUBG. Well, so that's so like, funny thing about that Fortnite yeah. is I like Fortnite a lot. I love watching streamers. That's my favorite esport yeah. to watch yeah. nowadays because it's like watching streamers play is really good. But they're constantly building. Yeah. And I was just like, look, cool gun, yay. And I'm shooting. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. like, I'm missing half of the game. And you almost kill someone, then they build a wall out of nowhere. And you're like, fuck. And then I die. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, we're going to go PUBG and Daniel. Go. Uh, PUBG, amazing game. It's an online shooter. Uh, a lot of information. So, there's a lot of customization. You can get clothes. You can uh, uh, change your appearance. Uh, different weapons in the game. Different scopes. Attachments. Each attachment does something different. Certain ones are good, better to peek. Some of them are better to just stay straight, just shoot. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much like uh, you join a, a group. There's a hundred people in that match. You could do uh, ones, twos, uh, and squads. And then uh, yeah, it's just a lot of just pretty much it's skill. And there's driving in the game. And uh, yeah, there's no C force, which is nice, no claymores, which I like too. It's just grenades and just yeah. pretty much shooting. That's pretty okay, good. Go. Can I kill right. this one now? Go ahead. Okay. All right. So we're starting with Daniel first though, because we go oh, we alternate. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Daniel, other than shooting, what else is fun in in PUBG? 
Uh, driving and running over people, pretty much. Oh, yeah. That's, you can get them on the bridge is the best. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, there's, uh, there's boats you could take. Uh, there's not really anything else, because that's just, uh, that's just pretty much a shooter game. Like, all you're doing is trying to shoot and get your rank up. Oh, they actually, um, this next patch came out. You haven't played in a minute, but, uh, you know how the old ranking... Uh, it was just kind of plain or whatever. Yeah. Now you actually get medals and shit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, or you got to get medals. Kind of like a league went from yeah, Elo yeah, yeah. to medals, yeah. That's so cool. that's that's pretty awesome. Hmm. All right, same question for you. Other than shooting, what's fun to do in your game? Uh, anything you can think of. I think we know how <laughs> Grand Theft Auto works. So yeah. if you want to run over people, you can do that also. Um, or, I don't know, crash a plane on the ground. But with PUBG, that's all you're getting. You go in there, you die, you get out, you go back in. New game. But with Grand Theft Auto, you're getting a whole complete game with it. Um, with Since we're talking about complete games, not just shooters. Uh, <laughs> now that I know the rules, uh, no. Nah. But um, uh, you're just getting a complete game. Plus, with the DLC, like you were talking about, um, PUBG had a expansions, you said, or something? Yeah, they have updates. Oh, they have okay. updates. Oh, DLC, matches. you could kind of do it as like updates as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's always, still, like, there's still, well, not they re- just super recently, but it did. Ago. It's just crazy how much more they're still coming out with that game. It's because the online's so hot. It is. You know what you didn't bring up about GTA? You can actually customize cars. Yeah, I said that last time. Did you? Yeah. That was the only thing I uh, used to That'd be cool if they had that in PUBG. Like, every time you got a new car, like, your skin went on it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. You think they would with the Steam store? You think they'd be able to? Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. So they came out with a game mode. This is off topic. They came out with a game mode. It's like flares, flares or whatever. Yeah. So when you find a flare, you shoot it up and it could give you a weapon crate or an actual like a U.S. with armor. So really? armor on the side and the wheels like the front, the back wheels aren't armored, but the front wheels are. So it's just like a souped up U.S. That's cool. It's pretty awesome. And then. Uh, that was like a limited game mode? Yeah. It's only out like they just bring it out every couple months or so that's cool yeah but, hit me up when, there's, when that's on again. yeah it, it was pretty fun there's like one point like we get pinned down we're hiding behind the u.s my buddy's like get in the u.s get in the u.s we're gonna take off there's a crate we're going for a crate and so we got to the area that's when we got jumped anyways we get in the u.s he starts taking off the crate lands right on our u.s kills us oh, it was it was awesome. that's unreal <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. That's great. Okay, uh, last question is how important is teamwork in your game? You guys both uh, were talking about your multiplayer, and in a lot of our multiplayer is fighting against other people, PvP, person versus person, yeah. but also working with others. So uh, we'll go Squeaks first. Squeaks, how important is teamwork in GTA? Uh, when it comes to the online aspect, of course, um, like I said, if, um, someone's flying the helicopter and they failed their part of the mission, then you might as well just abandon the mission, really. So it's important for every person in the team. I think it's like a team of four or five, something like that. I think it's, it's a team, I think it's a team of four. Four? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so if someone can't do their part of the mission, then we could all be, uh, messed up. So yeah, I think it's, uh, important for each character to get it right. Okay. And same question for you, Daniel. How important is teamwork in PUBG? It's really important because you need to rely on your other teammate if you go into squads. Because uh, usually there'll be another. There's always a bunch of teams of like fours or threes in there, and if you let's say you knock somebody, you need to be able to finish them, or they'll be able to get them up. That's and, Yeah, and if you're not fast enough, and let's say like you get knocked and your teammate doesn't realize they're yeah, it's pretty much stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you pretty much lose. Like, it, yeah, it really depends on that. Okay. Really depends. All right. Um, that was a real good number five, honestly. Both, both of them are really good choices. Yeah. Personally, did I show up that time? You actually did show up <laughs> that time. Yeah, Hi, welcome to Top 5. This is a, a podcast where we discuss things and actually have good defenses for our... Pulling the Joe. Pulling the Joe. Pulling the Joe. Um, he's probably listening like, screw you guys. <laughs> so... It was really good. I played both these games a lot. I mean, I've played the GTA storyline like 
four times, I think. Yeah, really. Like uh, PlayStation 3, and then you get it on PS4 well, for me it's on console, and then it comes out of PS4, you're like, oh, I gotta buy it again. Yeah, I did like 360, Xbox One, PC, I just yeah. got it on the Steam. I actually didn't do that. You didn't do that? I didn't like. Alright, I like having a main character. That's how I am. Yeah. I don't like switching. Like, I wish it was Trevor. I, w- I love Trevor. Trevor was great. See, that's funny. He's though. amazing. Yeah. I'm an anti-Trevor. See, yeah. it's funny because I think that's one of the big benefits to GTA is, is you, Trevor was your favorite. Michael was my favorite. See, I, I love Michael. That's, that's why I wish that you could just pick one of those and gone through the story. That would be cool to play the story as one of them and then yeah. you have to redo the story as the other one. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Because um, there was rarely a moment where you were really switching in between them and it meant something. Like, yeah. they, it was like they almost forced it in a heist. Yeah. But really, it would have been better if you didn't have to do that, I think. I think yeah. you're right there. It would be cool to play a whole new game. Like, uh, number four or whatever. I like that. I yeah. don't like the character, but I like that you're pretty much that main character. Yeah. You like how in, like, the first ten minutes of number five, you kill the guy from the expansion of number four? <laughs> from uh, the bikers, the bikers, the leader of the bikers in number four? The expansion of number four? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I never, I never played the game. Yeah, cases. like, you're, as Trevor, you're, like, sleeping with his girlfriend or whatever. And then you go out and you stomp his head. Oh, he was a number four. He's the main character oh. from the expansion uh, of number four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just to show you like how turned up yeah, Trevor is. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, so going over you guys' arguments and stuff like that, I think overall game, GTA just has so much more to offer. Yeah. We have to go Grand Theft Auto over PUBG. Although PUBG, awesome game. So we got to go Grand Theft Auto. So going over... I got one. Our... I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> going over our list, it is number five, Grand Theft Auto 5. Number four, Resident Evil 4. That's funny that worked out. Okay, Number three, yeah. Division 1. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Number two, The Last of Us. And number one, Metal Gear Solid 5. This is so, messed up. Just, and that's a solid <laughs> list right there. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think GTA should have been higher, but you yeah, messed up. Yeah. And Dead Space ain't going to get a spot on this one. Oh, you kidding me? <laughs> so that's your like, but you shoot limbs. That's yeah. all. Oh and then, it's a game where you shoot limbs. The limb simulator. You were talking about a targeting system. And I was like, all right, here's one for you. So, yeah, one but, of my questions is. He never actually talked about the story. Like, I'm so confused. Like, you know, I, That's why I even tried I, to help, help you a little bit. Like, it reminds me of Bioshock because I thought I, uh, Bioshock story driven. I was, uh, I was going in with focusing on just the shooting. That's why. Yeah, so, but we need to know well, about it. It's I a third person shooter is just to narrow down the game genre. I know. Well, the that's boy, why when we did the Gears of War you told and me. Last of Us, I was like, how did Gears of War lose? The shooting is way more better than Last of Us. But yeah, you're right. Last of Us, the story is amazing and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah. But like, like all you told me was pretty much what I played in a demo. I shot an alien that was coming at me. I actually did. And that was it. And I knew what you were talking about, but that's all you kept bringing up. Right. His, his explanation you... didn't remind you so much of like those old arcades where you get a gun and you like shoot at the people coming at you and just yeah. like, oh, look, yeah. I got the limb. Time Crisis. Time Crisis. Yeah. Yeah. House of the Dead. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. yeah. House of the Dead, 14 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about Telltale Games? Are they out of business now? No, what? Yeah. So apparently, um, Walking Dead won, and I want to say it was like, oh, the Minecraft one. The first Minecraft game were the only profitable games they ever made. They have made... So, not any of the expansions of Walking Dead or Batman or... The Batman actually was a huge flop. It cost I, I didn't play so Yeah, I didn't <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that didn't do well. I didn't play it either. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, so after the Walking Dead game, I mean, like, if you're like me, you're like, man, yeah. amazing game. Easily the best Walking Dead story we've got, yeah. personally. Yeah. Clementine needs to be brought into the show. I don't know why they haven't done it yet. Mm. And, but... After that, you're just like, it's a it's a give that they're amazing. I mean, I'm a huge GTA or a, a, a Game of Thrones fan, stuff like that, but I still haven't played the Game of Thrones one. It's on my bucket list. But the, You know, the Jurassic Park one was kind of cool, actually. I played that one. See, and, and, and they're all really well story-driven games, and we yeah. need more story-driven stories in it because I think gaming has an ability that movies doesn't to, in telling a story. Yeah. But yeah, they just, they couldn't make profit, so wow, they're out dang. of business. It's a shame to see such a good company that's making good story games. Well, I mean, there's no, yeah, but anyways, I guess people just get, I don't know, I guess they need more entertainment within the story. It's kind of probably how Last of Us was so successful. Successful. That's a good, wow, we yeah. just did it. So yeah, if you compare Last of Us to Gears of War, Last of Us had you engaged story-wise, yeah, yeah. you were thinking about it on the way home more than yeah. you were maybe Gears of War. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, Gears of War, but I still don't, I played the first one and the second one, I still want to know the story. Yeah, it was like an evasion or something like that. And yeah, it was a Like shooting thing. Emergence day, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, make sure to hit us up on all the social media. We have the shirts on the store. I'm working on some uh, new artwork for uh, our faces to put on some shirts. 
and uh, we have the um, what's our what's our nearest convention? The Sacramento convention got pushed back, so we got BlizzCon. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I think that's the, I think that's the, our focus right now. BlizzCon. We might do a BlizzCon episode. We should do, we should do these uh, toy conventions. Also, there's a lot I'm of down. Those, there's a lot of those lately. Yeah. Santa Santa Clara just had one. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm down. I, I love mm. I love going to them. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Top Five. You can find us all over social media. We're on Facebook at the Top Five Podcast, on Twitter at the Top Five Cast. We've got a website, thetopfivepodcast.com. We've got Patreon and Redbubble. We'll have uh, those in the description. If you have any suggestions, hit us up on one of the social medias. Please give us a good rating on iTunes. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you later.